Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome to episode five of Brew Chats with Charlie. Uh, in our last installment, episode four, we covered the widely popular High Lie IPA by Cigar City, Cigar City Brewing out of Tampa, Florida. Uh, for this week, we're going to cover uh, one that's a little more close to home, uh, particularly in the Wynwood region, which I, which I explained previously is the birthplace of Miami's craft beer movement. Uh, so to speak, and this beer comes from Concrete Beach. So Concrete Beach is a brewery that right from the get-go, it already had money um, provided by Sam Adams and Boston Beer Company. So they already had a very strong financial backing, um, but it's like the same thing, like I mentioned with Vezasaur, they still have their own creativity and they still have their own you know, freedom to that. They're not exactly selling Boston Lager out of their brewery. Um, they've made some amazing stuff over the years. Um, their classic lager, which I'll, I will cover, uh, soon called the Havana lager is just, it's a fantastic, it's really good. It's fantastic. Um, but I'm going to cover something that's a little more eclectic and a little more interesting. So, uh, concrete beach, um, they're not afraid to get interesting, not afraid to get innovative. They actually made a beer, um, right after hurricane Irma and it actually was an accident that they stumbled upon it. Um, there's a beer to guard. Um, and the other thing that kind of came up during this time was a was their rosé ale. Yeah, I'm not kidding, it's a rosé ale. So this is an ale that is brewed with white Zinfandel grape juice and blueberry. Hits, uh, hits you at 6.2% alcohol. Um, it's got a, their, uh, their description is that it's an innovative beer inspired by the classic rosé wine. Well, yeah, that's kind of obvious. With a touch of tannins, a splash of Zinfandel grape, a hint of blueberry, and subtle sweetness, this clear filter, uh, deep pink beer is perfect for wine and beer fans alike. And that's it. Um, I do love beer. It's my go-to alcoholic drink. But, you know, once in a while, especially with an, even with an Italian meal, I do like my glass of wine. Um, I'm more of a red man instead of a white. Um, but let me show you what this beer is like. So. Got my glass. So right out of the gate, when you pour this out, you can definitely see the pink. There's definitely a pink hue to this beer. So there you go. It's definitely got a pink hue to it. Um, when you first pour it out of the gate, the first aroma you get is definitely Grape. You definitely get the Zinfandel grape. Um, you definitely get a blueberry sense of it as well. Um, and it poured out really smoothly. The head didn't go crazy. It wasn't overcarbonated or anything like that. And then when you have a sip, when you have a sip, the first thing you get is the sweetness of the blueberry. Um, it definitely feels clear like wine. You know, you know, beer can be a little bit heavy with malts and hops and all that kind of stuff. It definitely feels clear and clean, very clean. Um, and uh, it just tastes like wine. <laughs> it's, you know, it, it just tastes like wine. That's kind of the easiest, the easiest way to put it. It's it's clear. It's clean. I could totally have this with. Um, with any meal possible um, that would, you know, work well with a rosé. Um, it's very smooth. I don't think I could have too many of these. Um, it's definitely not a beer. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not a beer that's crushable. Um, and this definitely can appeal to basically anybody. Anybody who's got a little bit of a taste for wine can definitely have this, appreciate this, and really... Uh, and really enjoy themselves. Best with a meal. I wouldn't have it on your on my own. Um, you know, having some beers with some buddies. This is not this is not the beer for that. This is definitely a beer on a date night with a meal, um, or you know, a nice uh, a, a dinner party or something like that. And it's definitely unique. Definitely catches the attention. Um, you know, the, definitely the pink hue mat does match the color of the can. Um, and 
with that, I would highly recommend a, you know, if I out of 10, I'd probably give this about a 7.5. Um, the one thing I don't like about it is that you can't, for me, even though it's only 6.2%, you feels, I feel like I can't have more than one or two at that. But I guess if you want to be like wine, you probably shouldn't have one or two, more than one or two glasses of wine. Anyway, with that, guys, please like, subscribe. Um, I love your feedback, love your thoughts. If you guys have any beers that you want me to try, I will do my best to look for them um, at my Total Wine or wherever. And um, thank you very much, and hope you guys have a great week. Hope you guys are all staying safe.